Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Daniel Rosal here. So I've just gone ahead and upgraded to the Caden Live uh, 21.04.3. I'm not sure what I was running before, but this is something um, I put the PPA onto my Ubuntu 2010 machine. This is running uh, LXDE as a desktop environment. Only reason I'm mentioning that is I think that is actually the cause of the bug, or so says the wonderful people on Reddit. I have a bug here, the shutdown computer after renderings uh, button, which would actually be very useful to me, is uh, grayed out there, uh, unfortunately. Um, so in any way, in any event, what I'm doing this video for is because the options in rendering have changed. Instead of saying GPU accelerated, they've changed the description slightly to hardware accelerated. It's still marked as experimental, but I've now got uh, three profiles, ABR, VBR, and ABR again for the H.264 and the H.265 codecs respectively. So I've got NVENC H.264 ABR, NVENC H.264 VBR, NVENC H.265 ABR. Now, um, it was previously, uh, CBR and VBR constant bit rate and variable bit rate. Now there's obviously there's still a variable bit rate uh, profile under H264, but there's now average bit rate. So I just plugged these into Google because I have to be honest, I'm not sure exactly. Do I, I wanted to make sure these were actually different and they, it's not just a different word for the same thing. So uh, from what I can gather, that is the case. It says in the Wikipedia's average bit rate article at a given bit rate, VBR is usually higher quality than ABR which is higher quality than CBR. So something's changed is all I can say. Now, what I wanted to do this time, if I can get back to my uh, Caden Live here. Nope. Ah, I can actually show, this is the old Caden Live. Still have open, I'm gonna just close it down. And this is the, you can see slightly nicer. So what I've done before is, as before I've grabbed a random 10 second clip of uh, test footage of of Pexels, I've add, got some uh, free background music and uh, I've added a little, this is a te rendering test overlay. So you can see my beautiful composition here. So it's uh, not in line to win any Oscar awards, but it's a uh, 10 second clip. Now I'm not sure if comparing things over 10 seconds, if it would be significantly different if I did a five minute test rendering project, but uh, for, the, for the sake of quickness and simplicity. Now what I've done before is um, I'm going to just bring this PC Man FM window here. This is where the files are going to build out in. And what I also did is I opened up my NVIDIA uh, just so I can see when it's running. I saw this on another YouTuber's video. This is the graphics card I'm running. It's the GeForce GTX 1050 Ti. Um, it's got four gigs of memory, as you can see here, um, and its video engine utilization is currently at 13 and eight. Someone else on YouTube made, made, uh, made the same observation. Usually for me, these two are like almost zero. I am recording this in OBS, so that would be my guess as to why we're seeing those numbers the way they are. And um, that's basically it. So I thought I'd just kind of keep this here so that I can see uh, when it's running, if it's running. So firstly, just as a benchmark, I'm going to start off with the normal in inverted commas profile, which is going to be, you know, the MP4, H.264 and AAC. And I'm just going to uh, go ahead and put this in a logical place on my file system. Uh, test render, and I'm going to go for rendered, test render project dot MP4 and that should be building itself in this directory. So uh, let us watch as the magic unfolds. So I'm gonna go for more options. I'm going to go as before for maximum on the encoding speed, uh, quality is normal, full project, video audio as default. I'm not using the proxy clips to render um, and I'm not doing anything like read scaling. Two pass is also grayed out and parallel processing. So I'm, I'm using all the options that I can see that are going to speed this up. Let's go. So we can see it started to build. Actually getting a bit more options, a bit more information compared to uh, this frame, uh, telling you what frame it's on was not something in the previous Caden Live I was using. So that's an innovation. This is pretty quick. So uh, let's see, almost done. And done. 15.5 megabytes. 
15.5 completed in 20 seconds. Let's just see the exact duration, nine seconds uh, and 20, let's just see here. Yeah, nine point, I'm not sure that's two four, that's the frame count I think, right? So nine seconds footage rendered in 20 seconds. So now let us go into the GPU accelerated. So let's start with NVENC H.264 codec, codec average bitrate. You can see the actual um, the melts commands being used here. F equals MP4, V codec equals NVENC underscore H.264, VB equals uh, percent symbol bitrate plus K in, uh, in quotation marks. A code audio codec equals AAC, AB equals uh, quotation marks audio bitrate plus K again in. So again, I'm using the same thing here in coder speed to max. And let's go and render this. And I don't want to overwrite it. I'm gonna actually call it test render two. Test render project, I'm gonna go underscore NVENC H264ABR. It's all separate files here. Rendering. Now let's just quickly check the GPU utilization. We're still at about 13%, so, ah, sorry, 15%. So it's just gone up a notch. 20% now on video engine utilization and drop back, dropping back. Yeah, it's just about finished. So it should see, see, seeing those numbers fall back now. So just confirming that it is using the GPU and 18 seconds. So it shaved two seconds off the previous uh, profile, which was supposed to be CPU only rendering. And uh, let's just take a look at what that file blew up to, blew up to 27.3. So it's actually a smaller uh, overhead than I got previously on my previous set of benchmarks, which was something like two or three fold. So let's try now to go for a 264 variable bit array. I'm gonna just speed up this process a little bit here. Replace ABR with VBR. Let's go again, Pro encoder speed max, parallel processing rendering. 2018, so the question is, can we beat 18 seconds on the rendering time? And can we beat 27.3 uh, as the file size? we got 11.7 let me just make sure i'm looking at the right file here 11.7 is the file size yeah 11.7 is the file size so actually lighter than um the original mp4 and 17 seconds so that's the best performance so far looks totally fine uh now let us just wrap this up by going into the h265 codec average bitrate profile F equals MP4, file output is MP4, the video codec is HVAC underscore NVENC, uh, VB equals percentage bitrate plus K, audio codec AAC, AB like this. Uh, so this is H265 and parallel processing is turned on, coding speed maximum, everything else on default, quality is the same as it was on the previous ones, rendering. Uh, whoops, I want to just give this its own file, H265 codec and this is abr not vbr boom rendering off to a flying start checking checking utilization up to 25 two seconds left and we should see this drop down if, if all is working well finished whoa it dropped all the way down so you can see it's definitely using the gpu and again i'm using the geforce gtx 1050 ti um, I am very, very far from a graphics card expert. Uh, this is, I actually bought this before I got into video editing. I bought this because it had enough. You can see I'm using three monitors. It actually has four. I was looking for a, a GPU with four outputs that could fit within my PSU's um, uh, power delivery. So I don't know if this is the best graphics card in the world. It wasn't that, it wasn't definitely not high-end graphics card. Hopefully a tiny bit above budget been really great runs my displays I didn't know that people actually rendered video on GPUs so this is what I'm using but I, I can just looking at those not at, at this in action I it looks to me for sure that it's really using the GPU and uh, just get that out of the way that rendered in 16 which is our quickest so far but in terms of the file size uh, 27.4 so we got an overhead that was more like the original um, 
go. So H.264 VBR, I would say, given, given that the time was much of a muchness, we only shaved off a small amount on each profile, I would go for the, uh, the, the speed plus file of, of uh, H.264 VBR. So I'm actually gonna just do another one just to make sure that wasn't a fluke. So let's go for H.264 VBR and let's call this file H.264 VBR underscore two. Now, if I wanted to do, to do this more sophisticated, I could, you know, do three passes on each, uh, on each render. But um, let's just see if we can replicate that result here. Looks like we're gonna come in about similar. So 11.7 again, and we also got 18 seconds um, versus, let's just make this big so that you can see all the details here. So just to reiterate my results, so using the MP4 profile rendered in 20 seconds, time results, 18 seconds on 264 ABR, 17 seconds on H264 VBR, 16 seconds, so the quickest was on H265 ABR, and again, 18 seconds on H264 VBR. And in terms of the file sizes versus the rendering times, I'm just gonna put this here, put this here. Um, in terms of the, the output sizes versus the rendering time. So as you can see, the best one was actually H.264 VBR because it actually was a smaller file than the default MP4 profile. And the time was 18 versus 20, sorry, the time was H.264 VBR 17 seconds. And on the second run that came in as 18 seconds versus 20 seconds on MP4, so a bit quicker as well. Hope that video was useful. These are, th this is my little quick batch of test renderings on Caden Live 2104.3 using my graphics card.